2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, number 14. Point P coordinates 8, 4, minus 1, divides line AB internally in the ratio 4 is to 1. The position vector of A with respect to the origin O is minus 4, 8, and 3. Determine the coordinates of point B. Now, this is from vectors 2, which you did in form 3, where you are learning about uh, ratio theorem. Uh, you don't need to do this but let me just draw the let me draw this diagram to demonstrate uh, how the ratio theorem work and it is going to help us uh, in uh, uh, solving this uh, question so that is a diagram we can use so here we have a we have p and we have b uh, we have o so the ratio is 4 is to 1 uh, we can get the, the coordinates of P we are given. It is 8, uh, 4, minus 1. The coordinates of A. Since we have been given the position vector of A, we can get the coordinates. Just write the column vector in horizontal form. So we say it is minus 4, 8, and 3. Uh, we don't know the coordinates of B, so Y, Z. So that's what we want to find out. So the ratio theorem, it says that uh, if we are to use OP, it is equal to uh, M over N plus N over, this would be OA, OB, not OA, we are taking this to be M, uh, then we say a N plus M, N divided by M plus N, the vector OA. Where now our m is 1, our n is 4. We are given the ratio. So that is when we are given m and n. That is how we write the ratio theorem. With that, we can now say uh, vector op. A uh, vector op, we can write it as 8, uh, 4, minus 1. Because we already have the coordinates of p. So op, we just write it in column form. It is equals to... Uh, it is uh, now our m is 1 so it is 1 over 5 uh, vector OA OA we already have it is minus 4 8 and 3 we have been given here uh, then we say plus n is 4 divided by 5 uh, the coordinates of uh, the column vector OB we use the coordinates here uh, uh, x, y and z so if we are able to get x, y, and z, then we will be able to those we will be able to determine the coordinates of point B. Uh, so we multiply it throughout by by five. When you multiply eight by five, you get forty. Uh, four by five, you get twenty. Four multiplied by minus one, that is five. That will give us minus five. Uh, we have multiplied by five. It so that becomes that. Uh, is equal when you multiply this by 5 you get it is minus 4 uh, 8 and 3 that is it plus this will be 4 uh, x y and z now we can take uh, this to the other side so we'll be there have 4 into bracket x y z on one side and this will be 40 uh, 20 minus 5 uh, then we say it is minus this changes to minus uh, so minus 4 8 and 3 uh, so this will be able to get uh, 40 minus minus 4 that will be 40 plus 4 that will give us 44 20 minus 8 that will give us 8 minus 5 minus 3 that will give us minus 8 so we divide by 4, so we have here we will be left x, y, z uh, is equals to 1 over 4 of 44, uh, 12, and minus 8. Uh, so when you open the bracket, uh, a quarter of 44 is 11, a quarter of 12 is uh, 3, and a quarter of 8 minus 8 is minus, uh, this is uh, minus 2 minus 2 uh, so it means x y z is equals to uh, 11 3 and minus 2 uh, but remember 
x, y, z are the coordinates of are the, this is now the uh, position vector of OB meaning the coordinates of B are 11, uh, 3 and minus 2 so that's how you get so you apply the ratio theorem to be able to solve this uh, uh, you don't need to draw this diagram in an exam if you are comfortable with the ratio theorem you can just apply it directly so that's how you do that